What is music? We can hear it. We can play it. But can we reach out and touch it? My journey as a musician led me to experiment with technology. After 12 years of playing shows and being in the studio, I was yearning for new ideas, new sounds, and more than anything else, a new sense of meaning. Playing with sensors that track physical signals like brain waves, heartbeats, motion, I became fascinated with translating the physical body into music. I began playing shows based on the biological symphony of the human body, without any traditional instruments. So, your heartbeat, for example, if you run, you change the heartbeat, and that affects the pulse, which affects the rhythm. If you meditate, it affects the brain, which affects the melody. If you dance, it will change the harmony. Some of these inventions took the form of everyday objects, such as glasses and hats, basically making them into wearable musical instruments. And wanting to take these kinds of experiences off the stage and into the world, I co-created interactive art installations for museums and galleries and public spaces, like the sculpture of a heart, for example. When you place your hand at the center of the heart, it plays back your pulse. Or this piece, which mirrors back your movements with sound and with light, but it only really reaches the climax when two people move together as one. And then you don't really know anymore if you're playing the music, or the music is playing you. So music technology did lead me to new ideas and sounds, but was this work really making a difference? Was it really helping anyone? Trying to create that kind of impact, I started a company called Shift, and I co-founded this platform of collaboration between brilliant makers. Together, we developed devices that enabled blind, paralyzed, amputated and autistic musicians to express themselves in new ways. Like a system that helps a paralyzed producer compose music using his eyes, or a 3D printed prosthetic arm that enables a one-armed singer to play the guitar so she could accompany her own vocals. The project was inspiring. It launched an active community of passionate makers, it raised awareness for artists with special needs, and it also resulted in prototypes that could benefit people with specific challenges. But I realized gradually that it still wasn't enough. By focusing too much on a certain condition, a certain problem, you're limiting the potential impact it could have on a greater audience, on everybody. And so the question finally became, what would make music accessible to as many people as possible, young or old, healthy or disabled, professional musicians or absolute beginners. Can making music be as easy and intuitive as moving our hands? This is the instrument. It's still a work in progress, but my collaborators and I are already seeing how basically anyone could play music with this within minutes. We're also researching the instrument's potential in other fields, as a hand rehabilitation device for children with cerebral palsy, as an educational platform in augmented reality, but at its most essential core, it's about playing music, it's for you to play. And if I use this foot controller here to change between sounds and loop myself, we can even make a whole song, like this.
Sometimes I wonder how we got here in the first place I look around me and I see your smiling faces And this moment is the essence, the pulse of inspiration Co-creation with intention In relation to most of this world's population In comparison to almost any other nation We've got everything we need, much more than that in fact So now it's up to us to wake up and act When sorrow settles in and nothing feels enough When all you see is competition, all you hear is fluff Remember you are not on earth to accumulate more stuff Remember that some people really have it rough Tough, but it's reality and we can make a change Rise above duality, embrace the spectrum's range Your privilege is a gift that's not meant just for you Your brothers and your sisters, a way to see what you can do Thank you.